Today's lesson is about multiplication using arrays and grouping. Multiplication is one of the four basic arithmetic operations. In math, multiply means the repeated addition of groups of equal sizes. We use array to show multiplication as rows and columns. To construct an array, there should be a row and a column. This array has four rows. 1, 2, 3, 4 and five columns. One, two, three, four, five. One row means one group or one set. There are five circles in one group. That is why there are five columns. You can use the array to find how many circles are there by skip counting using each row. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. There are twenty circles in this array. Now that you've seen how to construct an array, Try turning this multiplication problem into an array to solve it. How many stars are there if you have three groups of five? Okay, you have three groups of stars. To create an array, you would need three rows. You know that each group has five stars. That means you need five columns. Fill in the rest of the rows to have three groups of five. By skip counting the rows, you can find out how many total stars there are. Five, ten, fifteen. There are fifteen stars. Now, try to create a multiplication problem from an array. Look at this array. Start counting how many rows there are. This is how many groups there are. There are two groups here. Now you can count the number of columns. This is how many objects are in each group. The columns are five. So, this array has two groups of five. Let's change it to a multiplication sentence. Two times five. To get the answer, let's skip count by rows. Five, ten. So, two times five equals ten. Keep practicing with these problems. In this array, there are three rows. One, two, three, and ten columns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is three groups of ten. Let's change it to the multiplication sentence. That will be 3 times 10. To get the answer, we skip count by rows. 10, 20, 30. 3 times 10 equals 30. Let's keep going with these problems. In this array, there are 5 groups or 5 sets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
in each group, there are three balls. That makes five sets of three. Now, we skip count by threes on each set. We keep adding three every time we skip count. Three plus three equals six, plus three equals nine, plus three equals twelve, plus three equals fifteen. There are fifteen balls altogether. Therefore, five sets of three makes fifteen. If we change five sets of three to a multiplication sentence, that will be five times three equals fifteen. Let's review! Multiplication is one of the four basic arithmetic operations. In math, multiply means the repeated addition of groups of equal sizes. Multiplication can be shown through an array, which uses rows and columns. The number of rows is equal to the number of groups. And how many number of objects you have in each group gives you the number of columns. Arrays will help you visualize multiplication. And then you'll be a master in no time. This is a multiplication equation. 2 is the multiplicand. 5 is the multiplier, 10 is the product, this is the multiplication sign, and this is the equal sign. We can read this as 2 times 5 equals 10. Let's answer some more exercises for the sake of practice. You may pause the video if you need more time. Let's do this!
Good job! I hope you found these exercises useful. If you do, click like and subscribe to see new videos on our channel. Have an awesome day!